Josh Hader really struggled against the Kansas City Royals on Sunday. It was a 9-6 game when he came in. Here's every pitch of his appearance. Salvador Perez, first pitch, single to right, not off to a great start. Next batter, I believe this is Hunter Dozier. Ball, didn't hit his spot. Camposano is behind the plate, by the way. Got the swing and the miss. He actually started off pretty good here. Strike, throwing some strikes. Another strike over the plate, down the left field line, hustling around third, going to stop there. Now it's second and third. Isbell up, ball outside. Next pitch. Strike, could have been a ball, but it's a strike. Ball down. Ball up, way out of the zone. He had a lot of these today. Down the middle, strike. 3-2. Missed his spot. What kind of frame job was that by Campy, by the way? Strike one to the next batter here, Prado. Or ball one, excuse me. It was a strike. Ball two. Fastball up. Was a ball, but he swung, so 2-1. And then he leaves that one over the plate. Golfs it into right field. Soto throws it in. Kansas City drops their first couple runs there. Next batter, same pitch, fastball down over the middle of the plate still, though. Brings in another run. Now it's 12-6. Ball one. This is where it started to get ugly here. Nicky Lopez still has not gotten an out. One, two. Finally gets an out here. So it wasn't here where it got ugly. It's a little bit later. My bad. It took Hader 20 pitches to get one out. It's going to take Will Myers about nine pitches to get two outs, by the way. Ball up, way out of the zone. Two, one, two here. Whoa, way down. Way up. Just wild thing right here. Fouls it off. Three, two. Up high, ball four. He missed high a lot. And I don't want to bash Josh Hader, but this is not the guy the Padres traded for. Ball one, way down, nowhere close to the zone. Whoa, nowhere close to the zone. Don and Mud were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. In this at bat, it was terrible. Then gets a couple strikes. Three and two to Michael Taylor here. Fouls it off again, out of the zone. And then he leaves one. That's I think that would have been called a strike. Single up the middle. This was the ugliest at bat. I mean, just balls all over the place. Then when he does throw it over the plate, single in the center. Bob Mellon's had enough. 34 pitches gets one out. Will Myers is going to get more outs than Hater here in less than a third of those pitches. So first pitch, they didn't really show it. Strike one. Throws it inside the zone. Look at that. Two pitches, one out. It would have been a miracle if Josh Hader could have done that. Run scores. That was Hader's run, by the way. Will Myers here. So ball. Ball two. Excuse me, one and one. Fouls it off. Will Myers is kind of like the dad in batting practice, just trying to not get hit. And this one, I don't know if this one hit him. Look at this. Okay, maybe it hit his elbow guard, but the, I don't know. He definitely tr didn't try to get out of the way there. Strike one there. Look at that. Throw the ball in the strike zone. Pitch to contact. I know it was a hit, uh, but he's thrown a lot more strikes than Hader did. I know it's at like 50 miles an hour, but still. It's still funny that a position player's throwing, you know, pitching to more contact than Hader. Look at that. Pitch to contact. Little floater to crony. Just like that. Nine pitches. Will Myers out of the inning. Two outs for him. 30 plus pitches for Hader. He got one out. And I think this is a little awkward here. Hader gives him the pat on back. Hey, thank you. Pat on the back. Thank you for finishing the inning. Hader, 34 pitches, nine strikes. Myers, nine pitches, seven strikes. Look what happens when you attack and just throw strikes. That should be the lesson here. 
throw the ball inside the strike zone. Velocity isn't everything. When you're the wild thing, going fastball up or spiking balls in the dirt, that's not going to be effective. Hopefully, and I want to end this video by saying hopefully Josh Hader can find it. I'm rooting for the guy. This was a big move that the Padres made before the trade deadline, and it just not ha it just has not worked out yet. Hopefully, things can turn around.